This is Mark Vent with a Microsoft partner called Sickage. And today we're taking a quick look at working with Excel in Microsoft Dynamics 365 for operations. When it comes to working with your data in an enterprise system, there are several challenges that users will face. One is uh, the number of records that have to be maintained. If it's a small number, uh, a few records or a handful, then those changes are easily made through the user interface and don't require any other tools. However, if we're talking about hundreds, thousands, even tens of thousands of records, then really we need a better tool than the user interface in most cases to make changes to your data. Uh, another challenge that people face is that uh, many of these tools are proprietary and not necessarily easy to use. Uh, and if you can train your users to use those tools, then the training is not really portable because those tools happen to be specific to that enterprise system. One of the really neat features about Dynamics 365 for Operations is the integration with Office 365. And today we're going to illustrate uh, how easy it is to use Excel to uh, work with your data in Dynamics 365 for Operations. Let's log into Dynamics 365 and show an example. From my home screen, I'm going to navigate to my Sales Order Processing and Inquiry workspace. And here I've added a tile that allows me to get to my All Customers table. Now that I'm looking at all my customers, I can see that there are some problems I need to rectify as it relates to the customer groups that are assigned to my customers. As I mentioned before, if this were a matter of a few records, I could do those updates right here within the user interface. Uh, but let's assume we have thousands and thousands of records that need to be maintained. And although the number of customer records in my demo database here is relatively small, I'm going to illustrate the concepts of using Excel to do that. I'm going to use this Open in Office button here on the menu to illustrate two ways in which you can work with data using Excel. If I export to Excel, I can create an Excel spreadsheet that contains the customer data that I'm working with here. And then I could take that data and further analyze it, create some graphs and, and other types of reports from it. But today what I want to illustrate is the ability to open in Excel, which allows me to access the table information within Dynamics 365 for Operations using an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to click on that Open in Excel. I will download the information to Excel and let's just open the Excel spreadsheet here locally. I don't have to save this anywhere in particular. Once my Excel spreadsheet opens, I'm going to enable editing. My Excel spreadsheet has now loaded with the customer data and is connected to the table within Dynamics 365 for operations. Now we can do some of the kinds of things you can do in Excel that make it easy to, to filter and sort data to find the issues that we need to correct. Let's first do a filter on customers. Maybe I want to see all customers with names that have the word retail in them. So that quick filter brings me to this listing of my retail customers. And I see that um, all of them are assigned to customer group 30, which is correct, except one. Um, Contosa Retail Portland is, for some reason, assigned to the wrong customer group. So let's fix that. I'm going to change that to a 30. Uh, let's do another filter here. This time we'll filter on our wholesale customers. And I can also review my wholesale customers here and see that uh, they are all assigned to customer group 10, which is correct. Uh, so no changes need to be made there. Let's go ahead and remove our text filter to get back to all records. And let's do one more sort in this case to show um, all of the uh, customer group IDs in ascending order. Now I can see that, uh, again, all of my wholesale customers have the correct customer group 10. Uh, I can see that my retail customers have the correct customer group 30. There are a couple of flyers down here at the bottom. Uh, this one, Onita New Holland customer, is in a customer group 85. That's because they're a customer in Canada, so I'm going to accept that. 
and I can see that Contoso Europe is in customer group 90, which is international customers. That makes sense as well. However, Birch Company should not be in customer group 90. Um, this is actually a, a wholesale type customer. So I'm going to change them to customer group 10. I have made these changes effective in Excel, but I haven't made them effective in Dynamics 365 for operations yet. So to do that, I just need to publish my changes back to the enterprise system. Once that is complete, I can close this Excel spreadsheet. I really don't need to save it in this case. As I come back to the enterprise system, this form has not refreshed yet to show the changes that I made. So I'm going to go ahead and click on refresh and let the system refresh again from the database to present the information here. And now we could do something like we had done just a moment ago in Excel, sorting from A to Z and reviewing the results of the work that we did over there. We confirm now that all of our wholesale customers are in customer group 10. All of our retail customers are in customer group 30. And we have the two exceptions we noted. Onita New Holland's in 85 and Contoso Europe is in my international group 90. That is a very simple and quick illustration of the power of Excel. I can pull the data into Excel. I can do manipulations within Excel using cut and paste to update thousands of records at a moment and then I can publish that information back to Dynamics 365 for operations. To summarize what we just did there, we used a familiar and easy to use tool. Everybody knows how to use Excel uh, and it is kind of the standard for working with tables of information like that. So it allowed me to connect to my customer data within the enterprise system and make updates in Excel and, and publish those back to the system. The business logic of the enterprise system is enforced upon any changes I would make there, as well as permissions. So if I do not have the permission to make a change to a table or to a field, it will not allow me to do that. <clears throat> and finally, that training is the most portable training you could receive because everybody again uses Excel and being able to use Excel effectively is the key to making uh, data updates within Dynamics 365 for operations when you're looking at a large number of records. I work for a company called Sikich, which is a Microsoft partner, been in business for over 30 years uh, with uh, almost 3,000 clients around the nation, over 800 personnel and 21 offices. Besides being a great regional accounting firm and a great place to work, Sikich is a top Microsoft technology partner in the top 1% of all technology solution partners in the world, a member of the President's Club and the Inner Circle, and ranked as one of the top accounting uh, firms in the nation. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about what you've seen here, feel free to shoot me an email at mark.vent at sickish.com. And have a great day.